Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries of our faith. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, and may fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 This morning's Mass is being offered for Lupe Avalos. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out for Elam and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots, and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portions. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, Present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening, twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread. 
so that you may know that I am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, the dew lay about the camp. And when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? They did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial song. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna upon them for food and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels. Food he sent them in abundance. He stirred up the east wind in the heavens and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord gave bread from heaven. And he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sand of the sea, winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp, round about their tents. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. sower, all who come to him will live forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him <clears throat> that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some, bee, some seed fell on the path birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell on thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred, a sixty, a thirty-fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus spoke to the people in many parables. And in this parable of the sower, he is telling the people that the seed falls on different kinds of soil. And depending upon how you plant seed will be determine 
how your life will be. Because many things will come and cause people to change their ways, change their minds about things. We know that because we experience that all the time. All kinds of influences are come, are entering in, in our mind and it seems that it is getting more difficult to find out what the truth is or what is right and wrong and people change their minds according to how they feel at the moment. Jesus is warning the people that if your faith is going to be solid and real, it's got to be planted firmly in your minds and in your hearts so well that you avoid the temptations of searching around and finding out who is right, who is wrong, who is telling the truth, and whatever. There are many people still looking for Jesus. They're having trouble finding him because they can't make up their mind. We can only hope that the faith that we read in scripture and the way we worship has a close correspondence with one another. And so as we look at the way we worship and the way we live, is it based upon the good soil of the word of God? The only way that we can come to some sort of conclusion that will be solid in our minds and our hearts that outside influences can be determined and we can determine from that comparing it with scripture to show us the real purpose of scripture is to solidify our minds and our hearts to the truths that we read in the Gospels. <clears throat> but even that is a problem that we know. <clears throat> because people interpret the scriptures in different ways. It is only by the grace of God and persistence in reading the word of God that we come to a realization how Jesus is trying to reach our minds and our hearts and form our character. Needless to say, it's not easy. But praise God when we have the mindset to continue searching and reflect upon our own lives and our consciences and say, Make a decision, a commitment. This is what I will continue to search for. And Jesus, in speaking to the crowds, spoke to them in many different, many different stories to illustrate his points. And eventually, it is the grace of God that sows that seed in our hearts and our minds so that we begin to see the true formations of our character. With the confidence born of faith, we turn in prayer to God. For all the leaders of the church, may they move us to a fuller acceptance of the gospel of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the leaders of our country, may they always strive for justice and peace throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For 
those who possess an abundance of goods, may they remember the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, that in their poverty they remember their place in the Lord's heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those called to new life in Christ, that our willingness to help others will bring hope to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the Beatles, for whom we are remembering in this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, you are the God of salvation. <clears throat> Make known to us your paths and guide us along your ways. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord is a sacrifice and yours. With the praise of the Lord in your name, for our good and good of all the souls of church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel. So that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know that it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your, adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. In our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs> Are in 
be holy, O Lord, and found upon holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a new fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Myron our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity. And 
accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer to one another the sign of God's name. <laughs> an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
the Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Graciously be present to your people who pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Mass is ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. One another. Yes. Thank you, God. See, Michael, we are an angel. We are a magnificent battle. We are prepared to against the wickedness and spirit of the devil. May God rebuke you and humbly pray. And you do not have the prince of the heavenly host. By the power of the Holy Spirit, and by the grace of God, trust in God, Satan, and the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.